Welcome back! Welcome back to more What Remains of Edith Finch. So today we'll be continuing where we left off. Race flag, okay. Greg be a baby. <laughs> Yo, are we gonna climb this? Yo, that's cool. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. This house will be such an hassle. <laughs> Like imagine having to climb that every single time if you to sleep. Fly to India, okay. She spent a summer building houses in Kolkata, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, oh! So Sanjay is our dad, Sanjay Kumar, and my mom is. I'm not really sure. Dawn, maybe. I'm not really sure her name. Oh yeah, I think it is Dawn. It should be Dawn, right? Yeah. That is cool. Um, anything else? No? That's all? Oh, here. Yeah. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Mm, I see Bibles. We use this in our house. It was called... In Tamil, we call it... Uh, uh, let me just, I'm not going to butcher it, I'm going to tell you all properly. Udhupati is like uh, U-T-H-U and then P-A-T-H-I. It's not Padi, it's Patti, you know, Patti. Okay, maybe P-A-T-T-H-I. So it's easier for you all to recognize that. Patti means a box or you can also call it as a fire starter. So, yeah. is that all? Are we going here? My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. I'm not really sure what is it what it's called in English. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Basil Sage Time and, and to see kids in the house again. Also, my girlfriend wants something like this when you know when we have a house, like you know, a place where she can garden. I, mean, I think it, it is it's cute, you know. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal, but it didn't last. Okay, I just want to look out here, dude. Can you all stop forcing my camera? Yo, a brand new laptop? Really? I want that. Sorry, I just saw a... Uh, what do you call it? Mosquito. So I had to smack it. If you all heard that clap, that was me eating the shit out of that mos mosquito. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. What was the house? We were wondering what the hell that was. <laughs> Milton. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. I feel like we are writing this for Milton. Like somehow Edie found Milton. Let's go here. Let's see what's on this side. Okay, nothing. They could have hid something there, or something like, you know. Yo, look at the house. Have we been up there? No, we haven't. We came straight. Wait, what? Um, yeah, we came straight here. We could have gone up there. So we'll go there next, I guess. Sorry, I'm just burping. I don't really feel hungry nowadays. I'm not really sure why. I just drink tons of water. Dude, look at this. Milton? I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Milton did this? Dude, how old was Milton? 1992, 2003. Dude, dude he was young.
Okay, let's not go up there just yet. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's just go up there, I guess. <laughs> Magic paintbrush. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. <laughs> Dude, this is cool, man. I guess there's nothing. Okay, let's look at it again. Oh, okay. They didn't let me. <laughs> I was four when Milton disappeared. Oh, she, so she doesn't know how he looks like. I thought this whole point is just to find uh, Milton. I guess not. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. But she forgot to seal the fucking windows. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom's like the main villain of this story, dude. <laughs> Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Okay, there's nothing in this side. This house is not structurally. Su Why is there a fucking boat up here? Can I fucking know? <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is a random ass boat. <laughs> Ah, this guy was a stoner. It smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Yo, that is cool, man. I want, I want that art, dude. I want this art too. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> Lewis. This is Lewis, right? Yeah, Lewis. <laughs> of course, he's you know. But I like I like that art. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. He died in real life too. Ha, got him. <laughs> uh. What is that? Greater Seattle. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Okay. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Am I not His doing mind it? Began to... uh, what? Wonder. I asked him to describe it. I said he started here. small. Okay. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. I can't believe I'm things that multitasking at the same time. He knew it was all in his head. A 
and he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Okay, I'm not going there. Am I going here? Nope, okay. But he found something more. Yo, did the game just become 2D? Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. Oh, damn. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Yo, I, I... He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is happening, man. I have no... Imagination this strong. game is so unique, man. I, I he no I... longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, okay. were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Yo, gra grab the fish. He held an election for mayor. And he won. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Sometimes I, I do this city, too. Then immediately push on. Sometimes I do this too. I know it... it... It's not a good thing, Louisville. but you know it helps. It helps you, you know, Saint imagining Lewis. stuff while doing your work. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis, until one day he forgot to go <laughs> home from the Minneapolis. Even as his mother pleaded with him. Part of Lewis kept sailing on. I don't do that, In though. Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince, handsome queen, handsome, uh, handsome. queen. The Queen was on her own quest for... <laughs> Radiant Rainbows. Radiant Rainbows. <laughs> he followed the sound of her... 
Uh, silver harp. Silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Hey, what's up, dude? Can I just grab you? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. No, he lost his mind, really? My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Oh, is that me? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. He's not even... Ah, oh, this is sad, man. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. <laughs> I can't get out of this. Calico had insisted on advising him. Molly. I'm the king. Queen waited, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do. <laughs> I just want you all to experience this, like the music and everything. Bend down his head. Oh shit. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him.
My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Okay, I'm gonna end the video right here. That was a trip, man. This is why you don't take too many drugs. Listen, kids, you know, drugs are bad. Be healthy. And yeah, that's all <laughs> from me. So, yeah, bye bye. See you all in the next video.